John Henry Hoven III, born March 13, 1957 is an American banker and politician serving as the senior United States Senator from North Dakota since 2011. A member of the Republican Party, he previously served as the 31st Governor of North Dakota from 2000 to 2010. Hoven was elected that year to the U.S. Senate, replacing Senator Byron L. Dorgan, who chose not to seek re-election. Hoven became the senior senator in 2013 after Kent Conrad retired and was replaced by Democrat Heidi Heitkamp, who was once Hoven's opponent for the governor's office. Hoven was re-elected in 2016. Prior to his election to the governor's office, Hoven served as president of the nation's only state-owned bank, the Bank of North Dakota, from 1993 to 2000. He is positioned on the board of directors at First Western Bank and Trust and has an estimated net worth of around $45 million, making him one of the wealthiest senators. <laughs> Early life Hoven was born in Bismarck, North Dakota, the son of Patricia Trish Nay Chapman and John Henry Jack. Hoven Jr. His father owned a bank in Minot, North Dakota, where he worked as the president and chairman. Hoven's ancestry includes Dutch, Swedish, and English. He studied at Dartmouth College, which his father also attended. Hoven belonged to the Alpha Chi Alpha fraternity and graduated with honors. After graduating with an MBA from the Kellogg School of Management at Northwestern University, Hoven managed the trust department at his father's bank. From 1993 to 2000, he was the president and CEO of the state-owned Bank of North Dakota. <laughs> North Dakota governor <laughs> 2000 He sought the office of the governor of North Dakota as a Republican in 2000, and he was elected, defeating Democrat Heidi Heitkamp by a margin of 55 to 45 percent. 2004 In 2004, when up for re-election, Hoven faced Democratic challenger Joe Satram. Hoven won re-election by a wide margin of 71 to 28 percent. 2008 On September 25, 2007, Hoven's deputy press secretary, Don Larson, announced that he would be taking a leave of absence from his job to manage the governor's re-election campaign. Another Hoven staff member, Don Canton, said this was not a formal re-election announcement, but one would be coming later in the fall. On November 13, Governor Hoven made his formal announcement and campaign kickoff with stops in Fargo, Grand Forks, Bismarck and Minot. On November 4, 2008 Hoven won a resounding victory carrying 74% of the vote over the Democratic opponent Tim Mathern with 24% of the vote. This is the first time in North Dakota's history that any governor has won three four-year terms in office, though the record for serving is still maintained by Governor Bill Guy who served 12 years. 10 Tenure Hoven's governorship included the expansion and diversification of the state's economy, which led to a 49.5% increase in the state's real gross domestic product. Beginning in 2000, he directed the development of a multi-resource energy program for the state with incentives in each energy sector, leading the state in becoming one of the largest energy producing and exporting states in the country. North Dakota has gained nearly 40,000 new jobs since he took office. The state's wages and personal incomes continue to grow faster than the national average. In the past few years, the state led the nation in export growth. In late 2006, the state's reserve rose past $600 million, and now is over $700 million. As of December 2009, Hoven was the most popular governor in the nation. His approval rating stood at 87%, with only 10% disapproving. In January 2007, Hoven became the nation's most senior governor, having been inaugurated on December 15, 2000, as established by the North Dakota Constitution. U.S. Senate 
On January 11, 2010, Hoven announced he would run in the 2010 North Dakota Senate election for the seat being vacated by Senator Byron Dorgan. Hoven beat Democratic challenger Tracy Potter 76.08% to 22.17%, making him the first Republican senator to represent North Dakota since 1987. Since 2013, Hoven has been the dean the most senior member of North Dakota's congressional delegation. As of 2018 Hoven was listed as one of the seven wealthiest senators in the United States Senate. Committee assignments Committee on Agriculture, Nutrition, and Forestry Subcommittee on Commodities, Markets, Trade and Risk Management Subcommittee on Jobs, Rural Economic Growth and Energy Innovation Subcommittee on Nutrition, Specialty Crops, Food and Agricultural Research Chairman. Committee on Appropriations Subcommittee on Agriculture, Rural Development, Food and Drug Administration, and Related Agencies Subcommittee on Homeland Security Chairman. Subcommittee on Energy and Water Development Subcommittee on Interior, Environment, and Related Agencies Subcommittee on Military Construction, Veterans Affairs, and Related Agencies Committee on Energy and Natural Resources Subcommittee on Energy Subcommittee on National Parks Subcommittee on Public Lands, Forests and Mining Committee on Indian Affairs Chairman. Political positions Hoven briefly identified himself as a member of the Democratic NPL Party before becoming active in the Republican Party as a district chair and volunteer. Hoven has walked a conservative line as a politician on some issues and a moderate one on others including increasing education funding, ethics reform, compensation for teachers, as well as increased funding on infrastructure. Topic. Crime Hoven supports decreasing access to parole for offenders. He believes that drug control policy should be a state and not a federal issue. Topic. Economy and employment He opposed the Employee Free Choice Act, which included a card check provision. Topic. Emergency services Hoven is a member of the Congressional Next Gen 911 Caucus. Topic. Energy Hoven believes that alternative fuels are a long-term solution but that increased oil drilling is required in the short term. Hoven has been a vocal advocate for the Keystone Pipeline, arguing that it has never leaked and that environmental risks have been exaggerated. The Keystone Pipeline has leaked twice, once in 2010 and, after making that argument, again in 2016. <laughs> Gun rights Hoven consistently votes for pro-gun legislation and therefore has earned an A+. Rating from the National Rifle Association NRA. The NRA has endorsed Hoven multiple times, including during his run for governor in 2008 and Senate in 2010. In June 2016, Hoven voted in the Senate on four gun control proposals that were developed as a result of the Orlando nightclub shooting. Hoven voted in favor of Senator Chuck Grassley's expansion of background checks and to provide funding to research the cause of mass shootings and Senator John Cornyn's 72-hour wait period for purchases of guns by individuals on the terrorist watch list. Hoven voted against Senator Chris Murphy's proposal to require background checks for every gun sale, including online sales and at gun shows. He also voted against Senator Dianne Feinstein's proposal to ban anyone from the terrorist watch list from purchasing a gun. Hoven voted against the latter bill due to lack of judicial oversight or due process in the proposal. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Health care. He believes that public health care should be provided only to the elderly and children. Topic: <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Immigration. In 2013, Hoven voted to pass Border Security, Economic Opportunity, and Immigration Modernization Act of 2013. Topic: <laughs> LGBT rights. In 2013, Hoven voted against banning discrimination based on sexual orientation. He is against gay marriage. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Taxes. Hoven supports investment tax credits for farm investments. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Women's health. He is pro-life and opposes abortion except for cases of rape, incest, or threat to the mother's life. He opposes government funding for elective abortions in accordance with the Hyde Amendment. Hoven voted for reauthorization of the Violence Against Women Act in 2012. <laughs> <laughs> Electoral history <laughs>